Are you all comfortable? Yes? Because if you're not comfortable, you won't be able to attain. Right? Because we're going to talk about this quality of attention. And then we'll go as we go along. Most of us know what concentration is. Every schoolboy is taught to attain, to concentrate on a, on a book or a something or other, so that he applies his mind to a particular thing. Resisting all other invasion, all movement of thought, resisting all movement of thought, and concentrate. You know this, don't you? Huh? This is obvious. And the more that you can totally concentrate without any movement, without any interference of other activities of thought, one thinks one has achieved something. We are saying attention is nothing whatsoever to do with concentration. All right? Examine yourself, critically examine what is being said, don't accept, don't swallow hook, line and the rest of it. Find out if what the speaker is saying is correct or not. Correct being accurate, precise. Not vague, romantic, nonsensical. Concentration emphasizes, gives importance to a particular activity of thought. Right? Whereas attention is not the product of thought. Huh? Just play with it. Don't accept it, just look at it. Because Most of us know what is in attention. When you are listening to the speaker, you listen for a minute or two, or perhaps less than that, and your thoughts wander away to something else. And you try to pull it back and listen. Aren't you doing that? Oh. <laughs> Good Lord. So your mind is chattering, and occasionally the chattering stopped and you attend, you listen. But most of the time is constant activity. And in that constancy there is a particular demand made by circumstances or by yourself to apply, 
concentrate on a particular activity and resist all other activities of thought. You are following all this, right, sir? If you understand this movement, that thought is bringing about a quality of attention, a quality of concentration, and that very thought is moving away in other directions, right? And there is a an urge, a compulsion to hold the thought in a particular direction. Right? This is what is generally called concentration. Attention to attain. In that attention, if you if you really attain, there is no centre from which you are attending. Right? You all look so puzzled. Hmm? Sir, because it is important to understand this, because attention and inattention, they are the two things we have to face. Right? Are you following? Are you? We are communicating. Am I communicating something or not at all? Don't. Be. See. Have you ever given attention? With your mind, with your heart, with your nerves, with your whole being to something in which there is no otherness, in which there is no sense of deviation or distraction. So there are three things involved concentration distraction and attention. Right? Most of us, when we are concentrating, are afraid of distraction. Right? I wish we'd talk to each other quietly like this. Now is there a distraction at all? Perhaps thought itself is a distraction. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. When you say I'm, there is a distraction, that implies thought has made up its mind to, uh, to pay, concentrate on a particular object. And when, the, when there is any other kind of movement away from that, that movement is called a distraction. Right? Now, is that a distraction? We are saying there is no distraction. Because it is thought, please listen, it is thought that has said, I must concentrate on that. But that very thought is moving away in another direction. And that is called distraction. But is it a distraction? Because the, the thought 
has pinpointed in a certain direction, and that very thought is moving away from that. And that is generally called a distraction. Right? Why do you call it a distraction? It is still movement of thought. Right? So, any movement of thought is another distraction. I wonder if you get this. No, you don't. So, what we are trying to point out is that that there are two qualities of the mind. In, a, in which there is no attention, which is inattention, and attention. Right? And to be aware of inattention is to be attentive, in which there is no distraction. You get it? I wonder if you understand this. Because we are always struggling between the two, inattention and attention. And that takes all our energy. In meditation, for example, which, I, which is not the moment to talk about now, this is the battle that is going on to be totally attentive and a second later, completely not attentive. Right? Now, we are saying the inattention is not a distraction, but to be aware of that lack of attention, to be aware that you are not attending. That's good enough. I wonder if you understand this. So that your mind is never in conflict. Because conflict is a wastage of energy. So we are coming back. Now we have explained what attention is. Not explained, the fact of attention. That when there is attention, there is no center from which you are attending, as there is in concentration, which then has what you call distractions. Whereas in there is attention, and there is inattention. When one is at, aware of the inner, for the aware of not being attending, that very awareness is attention, in which there is no distraction whatsoever. I want to tell you this. Got it, sir? Even verbally, have got it. Intellectually, which is nothing at all, but at least it's a whisper. Now, will you so attend without concentration, without effort, to what is being said? That is, that there is no distraction. You may attend, listen for a minute, and wandering off. And be aware that you are wandering off. That very awareness of wandering off is attention. Right? Got it, sir? 